hello students let's start off with what we left behind in the previous video last leaf so we remembered how uh, john c was feeling totally devastated and she had linked herself to the falling leaves of the ivy creeper now what did sue and i have to say for that according to sue it was all non nonsense oh that's nonsense replied sue what have all ivy leaves to do with your getting well the doctor is confident that you will get better john c did not say anything sue went and bought a her a bowl of soup i don't want any soup said john c i am not hungry now there are only four leaves left i want to see the last one fall before it gets dark then i will sleep forever so you can see how uh, john c was so negative in her you know she had linked everything that is there even uh, it is a season of fall autumn obviously leaves will fall and uh, moreover it was an old ivy creeper she even denied the soup that was uh, going to help her you know uh, boost her immunity and uh, she said no i want to see the last leaf fall and then i will sleep forever so she uh, had totally decided she is going to die and not live now what did sue did next sue sat on johnsy's bed kissed her and said you are not going to die i can't draw the curtain um you know for i need the light i have to finish the painting and get some money for us so you know sue said that i wanted to paint and complete the painting because i need to sell it and get some money for us please my dear friend she begged john c promise not to look out of the window while i paint so she requested john c not to look out because uh, it was uh, she was being practical and she was trying hard to tell john c that we need to live our life and be practical and not and be positive that we need to earn some money to uh, move on all right john c then replied finish your painting soon for i want to see the last leaf fall i'm tired of waiting i have to die so she was so confidently telling that i am tired you know i want to die now this indicates that she was totally drowned with her you know pneumonia and she was having no you know hope of living because sometimes your physical body is also you know linked to your mental uh, state of mind however remember your mental state is powerful than your physical state at times so, so you know john c you know need to do that so let me go away peacefully like one of those poor tired leaves the tired leaves referring to you know the leaves of the ivy creeper and i think it is a personification been used here even a simile you know she compared herself to those leaves you know like those poor tired leaves you know even personification here trying to personify the leaves and at the same time she was comparing them uh, her uh, to the leaves that they are tired and poor tired you know she was also feeling helpless try to sleep said sue i have to paint an old miner old miner and i will now call beherman up to my um, you know to be up to be my model so beherman was another painter who stayed in the same same building and sue was going to use him as a, a model sue rushed down and um, beherman lived in the ground floor on the ground floor and he was a 60 year old painter his lifelong dream was to paint a masterpiece you know all painters they always wanted to do a kind of thing like the mona lisa by leonardo or any great painters and beherman too had a dream but that had remained a dream only it never fulfilled when sue poured out her worries to behman she told him how john c was convinced that she would die when the last leaf fall so she told behman the 60 year old painter about the worries that how you know john c was giving up on life and she wanted to die is she a stupid behman asked how can she be so foolish you know she needs to eat well she is running a high temperature complained sue to behman she refuses to eat or drink that worries me a lot 
I will come with you and see John C. Bearman replied. Now, uh, Beherman H can be a silent Bearman. That's how it is pronounced. His name wanted to come to see John C. And he thought that John C. was behaving uh, like a stupid girl, not eating properly, not uh, able to understand that she needs to take care. And she, he was too concerned about, uh, you know, Sue too, because she was worried. They tiptoed into the room, and John C. was sleeping at the time. Sue drew the curtains together and they went to the next room. She peeped out through the window. There was only one leaf on the creeper and it was raining heavily and an icy cold wind was blowing. It was winter and it was very cold and there was only one leaf that a final leaf that hang uh, was you know, clinging to the creeper and at that time John C was sleeping and her curtain was drawn and they went to the next room to look out. It seemed as though the leaf would fall any moment, any minute now, any minute the leaf would fall down because it was so windy and it was so cold and the leaf would definitely fall any moment. Bearman did not say anything. Bearman, what he did, he just uh, looked out and he did not say a word and then he went back to his room. John C. woke up next morning in a feeble uh, that is weak voice she asked sue to draw the curtains sue was nervous why she was nervous because she knew there was only one leaf the other day and by now the leaf must have fallen she drew the curtains in her back very reluctantly you know hesitatingly she did not want to do it because she knew the fear what would be the scenario outside there would not be a single leaf in the ivy creeper and that would really affect uh, uh, John C who was totally relying on the creeper for life. Oh! Sue ex exclaimed as she looked at the vine creeper. Look! There is still one last leaf you know, on the creeper. It looks quite green and healthy. In spite of the storm and the furious wind, it didn't fall. So, uh, you know, when Sue drew the curtain, she was astonished to see one, not the leaf that was there the other night. It was still there and it was healthy, it was green. And uh, she was so happy uh, because uh, she uh, was, uh, you know, feeling a kind of hope for John C. Uh, in spite of the storm and the fierce wind, this leaf still hanged on. It did not, uh, you know, fall off. I heard. The wind last night said John C. I thought it would have fallen. It will surely fall today and then I'll die. So that was what John C. was uh, you know, thinking. You won't die, said Sue energetically. You have to leave it for your friends. What would happen to me if you die? But well, John C.'s uh, you know, attitude really uh, you know, kind of worried Sue and she started telling that no, you're not going to die. You have to leave for me, your friends. And what would I do without you? John C. smiled weakly. John C. had a smile in her face. And then it's positive, I think, um, and closed her eyes. After every hour or so, she would look out of the window. We know why she was looking out. And then there, she would find the leaf still there. It seemed to be clinging to the creeper. In the evening, there was another storm, but the leaf did not fall off. John C. lay for a long time looking at the leaf that it would fall off any moment and she would give up on life. Then she called out to Sue. I have been a bad girl. You have looked after me so lovingly and I have not you know, cooperated with you. This is what uh, John C. You know, told uh, Sue. Uh, not cooperating with her friend uh, Sue who was working so hard to you know, help her. I have been depressed and gloomy. The last leaf has shown me how wicked I have been. I have realized that it is a sin to want to die. That's the realization she understood after looking at the last leaf that clinged so strongly to the ivy creeper. Sue hugged John C. Then she gave her lots of uh, you know, hot soup and a mirror. John C. combed her hair and smiled brightly. You know, uh, for John C., that leaf in the ivy creeper was a hope for her. 
because that she had linked herself to if the ivy creeper would fall she would die but then the ivy creeper did not uh, sorry leaf did not fall off and this again is a renewed kind of uh, you know, transformation in her that she started feeling that if the leaf could withstand this storm weather, stormy weather and still cling on to the ivy she also had a new hope it was a connection that she had so strong